tuliona ilikuwa ni miongoni mwa maeneo ambapo maandamano yalishuhudiwa na vile vile vurugu pia ikazuka uh, kwa upande mwingine. Sijui Bramwell leo mambo yapoje upande huo wa Kisumu. Shukran sana hadi ya ulivosema ni kweli kwamba tuko hapa katika jiji hili la Kisumu na mambo hapa bado ni kama kawaida kila kunapoitishwa maandamano vijana hujitokeza kwa wingi na kuweza kuzua vurugu na kuweza kuvua kuzua tafash kidogo lakini hii leo kule kutoka Kondele ile ni njia ya barabara kuu ya kutoka jiji la Kisumu kuelekea Kakamega ile barabara ya kutoka hapa Kisumu kuelekea upande wa Busia na kuna ile barabara ya kutoka hapa jijini Kisumu kuelekea Nairobi ikipitia kule Nyamasaria hizi ni sehemu tatu ambazo zimejulika sana zinatambulika sana wakati ambapo kuna itisho haya maandamano kila kunapoitishwa maandamano basi vijana hujitokeza na kuweza kuzuhia usafiri wa aina yoyote katika barabara hizi ile barabara kule mbele kabisa ni kondele kule kushawaka vijana washafunga barabara wanaimba nyimbo za kimapambano wamesimama artisti kuhakikisha kwamba yale yale matakwa aliyoyaitisha yule kinara wa Azimio Raila Odinga yanatekelezwa walisema kwamba wao wataandamana hadi pale ambapo maslahi yote anayopendekeza Raila Odinga yaweze kuzingatiwa cha msingi leo ni kwamba tunaona kuna baadhi ya wabunge ambao tayari wameweza kujumuika na hawa vijana katika hili swala zima la, la maandamano tunasikiza kuna vitoza machozi vinapigwa takriban kama mita mbili kutoka hapa eneo lile la jua kali mara ya mwisho tukiwa pale mambo hayakuwa mazuri sana lakini pia baadaye kidogo tutakuwa tunasonga pale kuweza tukujua hali halisia ya mambo jinsi yalivyo iko vipi takwa vile tukipata mpenyo kuelekea upande ule wa kondele ili kuweza tukujua kwamba mambo yako vipi lakini hapa nipo na mmoja wa wataalamu wa kisiasa nataka tueleze kidogo mambo mawili matatu huyu ni wakili Clifford Obiero wakili Leo nataka nikuulize haya maandamano yanalenga nini? Jana tumemwona Kinara wa Azimio Raila Odinga akiweza akiweza kuchukua vieti. Akizindua aki, aki mpango kwa kuchukua sahihi za kidijitali. Mbona haya maandamano? Ni mbona wakaamua kwenda na mifumo hii miwili? Kukusanya sahihi pamoja na maandamano. Eh uh, kweli kabisa. Uh, tunavo, tumemjua Raila na historia yake na uh, jinsi anavyopenda uh, uh, democracy uh, ukitizama vizuri utakubaliana na mimi ya kuwa uh, the the arms and the machineries of power that are available uh, for them to use to express their dissatisfaction with this government are actually in bed with the government talk about police independent police oversight talk about those kind of commission independent commissions they are in bed with the government so th this is an opportunity or it is a time when uh, uh, the people who will wish that they are heard now revert to article 1 of the constitution uh, collection of signature may not be effective per se it may not be a, a, a way of doing something material to the government, but it is a way of sending information. Whatever uh, Raila is trying to do by collecting signatures is sending some information. Even demonstration is a way of sending information. Wakili, unapozungumzia demonstration being a way of in sending information. Yes. Tumekuwa tukishuhudia vijana wanapigwa marisasi hapa Kisumu kila mara kuna poitishwa maandamano. Ijumaa iliyopita vijana wawili wakapoteza maisha yao. Sasa leo tena ndo haya maandamano mengine. Uhisi kwamba huenda labda e, ni wakati ambapo tutafaa kufikiria mbinu nyingine za kupata suluhu kwa chochote kile ambacho kinaitishwa na mrengo wa azimio? Uh, kweli najua uh, uh, the reason why people are being shot is probably also to discourage people from demonstrating but uh, people should not be shot you know there is what it is and what it ought to be eh? what it is is that when people are demonstrating then the police are supposed to be with them probably to protect them and the interest of people who could be falling victims of there are people who may not be there to demonstrate they are not demonstrators those are thieves the police should arrest them
And again, the, uh, 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 whatever we are also suffering from probably is the impunity and the lack of knowledge and exposure of our police. Because even the shooting policies, uh, I don't think if the force that they're being subjected to is commensurate to shooting to kill, everybody in this country has got a right to live. Trust me, even if Satan was to come and then one police identify that this is Satan who probably killed the son of man, then he doesn't have a right to shoot that Satan. He must arraign that Satan and arrest that Satan and take to the court of law to be heard. Kabla sija kuachilia uondoke. Je, unahisi haya maandamano ambayo yanaendelea kuitishwa yatazaa matunda? Kweli yatazaa matunda. Kwa nini? Uh, uh, umeona vile wameamua wame wame kugatua maandamano. Ni ishara ya kuwa watu wengi wa kaunti zote wanaanza kuelewa maana halisi ya demokrasia The government can never control this country if people have not accepted their policies and the manner in which they are running the nation You know even them they are in power because there is this presumptions that people have agreed and allowed them to be in power. And if they are doing things that does, do not sit well with people, people are sending information. These people are sending information at the people who are to be governed. They are the people who are to, uh, to pay taxes. They are the people... Look, the government, the government cannot be there without the people. So if the people are talking, are, are going left, the government cannot go right. And trust me, where we are right now, whatever we are seeing, it's time the current government go back to the drawing board and do something. But more importantly, whatever is taking place is democratic, purely democracy, so that we will be even in danger. You see, it was so dangerous when President uh, Uru Kenyatta was in proper understanding with the opposition. Things were not even getting exposed. Trust me, there was even no news to report at some point. But right now, when there is a sitting government with a strong opposition that can also ground this country, then the government work knowing that they are being checked. And this is why, trust me, this is, this is the environment that will make the government deliver. Hadia. Ndo hayo mambo ya huyu ni mtaalamu wa kisiasa anaitwa wakili Clifford Obiero wakili hapa jijini Kisumu mara nyingi tunamtegemea sana katika uchanganuzi wa masuala ya kisiasa kabla tujelekea kule upande ambako mambo yamechemka ilikuwa vyema ni sema naye aweze kunipatia ufasaha moja mawili kuhusu kile ambacho kinaendelea hapa na hususan nini ambacho kinalenga na iwapo je maandamano haya yatazaa matunda lakini nakueleza kwamba toka hapa sasa mwendo dakika kama 15 hivi nitakuwa na kupakulia taswira kamili ya nini ambacho kinajiri hapa Kisumu nitakuwa na kueleza nitakuwa na kuonyesha picha ya moja kwa moja ya mafisa usalama ya vituo za machozi na wale vijana wa kondele na wajana wa hapa Kisumu ambao 